This experiment investigates the charging and discharging behavior of a capacitor. We now have a look at the circuit. It has a cell, a resistor, there is also an ammeter and a voltmeter, a capacitor, and the charge-discharge switch. When the switch is in the charging mode, the current flows from the right-hand side to the left-hand side of the ammeter. When the switch is now changed to the discharge mode, the current through the ammeter goes from left to right. This is the switch, the capacitor, the power supply is set to 3 volts, the resistor to control the flow of current, and finally the voltmeter and ammeter. Now the switch is switched to the charging mode, and the current from zero goes directly to a high value. It is shown that the current is slowly decreasing, whereas the voltage on the left hand side is increasing slowly from zero until it reaches about 3 volts. One can observe that the current decreases very rapidly at first and then it decreases so slowly until it reaches zero. The same happens to the voltage. It grows up very quickly at the beginning and then it continues to increase very slowly until it reaches the supply voltage. The capacitor is reaching its full capacity as the voltage is coming very close to 3 volts, which is the supply voltage. The ammeter was reading on the left hand side of the scale. Now we are going to switch to the discharging mode and as a result of this the ammeter is reading on the right hand side showing that the current is decaying as the voltage across the plates is decaying as well. From the supply voltage around 3 volts it's going down to zero. As happened during the charging process, in the discharging process now also it shows that the rate of change of current is very fast in the beginning and it's becoming very slowly at the end. The same is true for the voltage across the plates of the capacitor. It is taking now a very long time for the current to reach zero and this is also true for the voltage to reach zero. 